Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I'm here to do something a little bit different that I haven't done in a very long time. But <clears throat> as you know, this week is my off week for a live sale. And later today, we will be doing a craft and chat with our guest, uh, Jovi at Creating with Jovi. So join the girls and I uh, later today. But I recently did some spring cleaning. I'm actually in the midst of it. And what I thought I would do is bring some things as a um, drop sale. And what that means is I will be showing you some items at a fixed price. Each one have a letter or letter combination attached to them. And if it's something you're interested in, all you need to do is put in the letter and what the item is. So describe it, but start with the letter. And uh, this will be up. So this is going up on Saturday. Yes, Saturday, April 6th. So we will have this up. And it will be available for you to make your purchases through April 11th, which happens to be, friends, my birthday. That's also the day that Miss Hazel Anaka with Hazel Anaka Design will be our guest on our live sale. So why am I giving so much time for you to purchase from this particular video? Well, it is your opportunity to uh, shop this uh, haul that I've got here. And if you choose to buy something on the day of the sale from myself, I can combine shipping. It also allows you time, if you're interested in buying something from the maker's market from uh, me, that you can hop over and do that. The link is in the description. And combine all of those shipping opportunities together. And I also really, it's your opportunity to tell me if you like this, because I might do this maybe once every three months or so, uh, maybe more often, depending on how it goes. But I thought it would be a nice little way to do some clearancing, to do some clean out, and uh, to let you shop at your leisure instead of having to be at the live sale. Um, sure, you can go to the live sale, watch the replay, and if something didn't sell, you might have an opportunity. Uh, but this is pretty much first person in gets that item. Now, one other thing I would tell you is if you see something you like and you go, oh, I'm looking at the comments and somebody already put in that they wanted that. Don't hesitate to put that in. That is just what I call a backup bid. If something for some odd reason falls through, then uh, we will go to the next person and I will figure out who that is and um, you may have an opportunity. So don't hesitate. It's fine. It's really, really easy. If you have a bid or a uh, bid on an item, then all I need you to do is send me an email and I'll have this scrolling across the, um, or at least highlighted on the screen too, but send me an email Title it Shop Till You Drop. Send it to Restoration Harmony, the number one at gmail.com, and include your YouTube name, your first and last name, your proper shipping address, and the email you want your invoice sent to. I do invoice through PayPal, so if you have a PayPal email that is different from the one you're sending it to, uh, either way, just put the email in the in the uh, body of the email, so I know which one to send it. Two. If you have bid recently and you have shopped often with us, uh, no need to no, no need to resend that information. All right, so let's put this somewhere where yeah, I'm going to put that where you can see it. And I have lots starting at a variety of prices, so I'm just going to run through these. This will go pretty quick. So the beauty of this is that you can pause anytime. Uh, you can, you know, jot down all the things that you want to bid on and send one post. You know, you can bid as you go. Uh, but really, the first one in is the um, winner. So don't hesitate if you uh, are interested in something. Okay, 
So this is letter J. It is $1 and it is my mind's eye, a mixed bag with 46 pieces. And here is some examples. It looks um, a little bit wintry, but not really. I'd say more outdoorsy. So that's letter J. And I guess these are out of order because I <laughs> just go with it. These are flare pins because, you know, just like Jennifer Aniston, everybody needs a little flair in their life. But these would be great in uh, journals. There's love, lucky charm, shine. I'd love to stay, but I really, really must dash. <laughs> um, and they are also for Market Street, my mind's eye. This is letter K. So again, just for example, if you're interested in J, then you would put letter J, either put my mind's eye die cuts, Market Street die cuts, whatever. Or if you want K, just put letter K and flare. I'm going to turn these over so I don't get them out of order. Um, letter L is some fancy pants, rub ons. So there's baby doll, fairy tales, princess, all kinds of cute little things. Could be girly, could be uh, princess esque. Um, fairy tales, but those are the rub-ons, and that again is letter L. And all of these items are one one dollar. So put that in there with the letter and what it is. This is a uh, Teresa Collins uh, cover. So it's got this really pretty scalloped edge. It's the front and back cover. Um, you can use it with a bind at all, but you could use it just with your crocodile and punch your holes in here and add your rings and it's super, super cute. It is a uh, total nine inches wide by nine inches, I believe. Eh, I can't tell. It's about that much further. Yeah, nine inches. So that is letter M. Now, I have a couple of things. I know this is kind of silly, but <laughs> I'm bringing them anyway. Letter N is just a book cover, but it's a really cool one, and it's wide, so I liked this a lot. Um, but I had some book covers. It's 11 by 8 and just about 3 quarters, and uh, I wasn't going to be using them. Uh, like I said, I've been spring cleaning, so these are up for grabs for $1. Cute, cute singing games for children. So there's that. Letter O is... The look and learn and it's cool because it has the discontinued on the front and there it is it's got the des moines public schools in there that is letter o and letter p is quite large it whoa it is raggedy ann and andy and it is about 12 and a half inches by nine and a half inches and then lastly i'm going to put these out okay how am I going to do this? Okay, this is Q. I'm going to lay these all out so you can see them. This is a soldier. Let me make sure you can see this okay. You know what? Hang on a second. I'm going to get a piece of... I think I have a piece of black. Do I have a piece of black paper? Whoa, I'm spilling things. Come on. Talk to me, goose. I see it. I see it. <laughs> okay, that will be easier. Then you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so the couple with their family is letter R. The soldier is letter Q. Letter S is the jet. Letter T, which, <laughs> let me explain what this is. This is a a couple dancing. So there she is, she's cha 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 -ing. And there he is. So that is letter T. Let me see. I have another piece of black. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to add some more. And I'll keep them right there. Okay. Uh, letter U is this German Shepherd. And letter V is just this cute little corner embellishment. Q is soldier. R is the family. S is the jet. T is the dancers, U is the shepherd, and V is the pretty little corner embellishment. I'm going to put these over here so I don't mess them up and forget. 
And that rounds out everything for $1. And, you know, like I said, just a couple of tips. You can pause anytime. You can make your list. You can put one bid in, in or um, do it as you go. It doesn't make any matter to me, but your chances to get the items that you wish are always greater when you do it right away. Okay. Now we're up for $2 items. Hang on, Swoopy. Nope. Are we up? Yes. $2 items are going to be... I'm running out of room. Washi. So, $2 for any of the bundles that you see here. And we have letter A, and I'll show you these a little bit closer. I call this the tattoo pack. $2. Letter B is, what did I call this one? Uh, feathers, which there's feathers, there's arrows, there's flowers, there's some animal print. Letter C is the rainbows. Letter D, I called, what did I call you? Letter D, light bulbs. Letter E is a donuts. There's donuts and ice cream and hearts and such. I tried to kind of coordinate these a little bit. Letter F is all animal prints. Let's make sure you can see this. Oh gosh, that, that is not coming up very well. Let me go back and do this again. Okay, there's F. There is E. There's D. I'll stand up while I do this. Plus, my chair is all squeaky. It's the light bulbs. There's C. This is the rainbows. B is the feathers. And the colors aren't coming up. This is like an ombre color. This has got red and greens in it. And then this is the one I'm calling Taps. It reminds me of tattoos. I don't know. And Ed Hardy a little bit. All right. There we go. And letter G. Letter G is, I call it the babushkas or the nesting dolls. I don't know if you can. Mm. See them very well. I apologize for that. Letter H is has got the skyline. It's got some geometric shapes and so on and so forth. And finally, letter I is the peace signs, the kind of retro 60s. You got skeletons, daisies, and a little bit of animal print. So those are your options. I'm going to put leave those there, A through I, and those are each $2. So put in as many as you wish. I was smart and put the letters inside of the bag to make it easier. Yes, I did. All right, now we're on to $3 items. And $3, I just have a few. And these are all books. So these are all $3. And the first one is letter W. It is a baby book by Mary Inglebright. And you know how fun these Mary Inglebright books are. Whether you use them as a baby book or just for the gorgeous images. Um, oh, isn't that cute? It doesn't look like it's really even been cracked open. It is from 1992. That is letter W. Letter X is an older version of A Little House in the Big Woods, which is a Little House on the Prairie book. It is... Mm -hmm. When are you copyrighted? 19... Well, 1932. But this is not 1932. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, you know what? It could be, I guess. There's no second... Um, publishing, but that is letter X. Letter Y is Mommy's All About the Work They Do. It's a little golden book. 
and it is from 1997. It's super, super cute. Mommy's model clay and fixed fence. Okay, then we have one of my favorite characters. I call him Monkey George because that's what my kids call him. And I'm trying to find a spot where that you can still see that. And this. Um, this is Curious George Plays Baseball. It is from 1986. My lighting is really not good today. Don't know why. The man with the yellow hat. That's letter Z. And letter double A. A A is the Mouse Family by with Raggedy Ann. And can you believe I'm getting rid of a book that has mice in it? I am. This is the 2002 edition. It is super cute. But if you like mice as much as I do, you might, might need to have this one. Uh, I had a lot of Raggedy Ann stuff and, and Raggedy Ann and Andy. And as I was going through things, I started to realize I had too much. So... And of all of the stuff, I had one book that I took out. But, you know, it's better than zero, right? So that is Raggedy Ann and Andy, the Mouse Family. And that is AA. And those are all $3. So I'm going to put these back. And now we're moving on to our $5 items. I'm going to see where these... Where are our $5 items? Okay, I got them all in order. Wow, that's amazing. Hang on, guys. I've got these in a box, so I know which ones are for what sale. So these are each $5. Let me put my $3 ones back. And I got a lot of $5 items. Um, this is... A, B, it's called Harvest Tide. This is a, like, um, a revival hymnal. I did not find a date on this particular one, uh, but it's really cool because it has small, small writing. It's a nice size. It's got nice worn pages. It is um, seven and three quarters by five and a quarter. So that is A, B. AC is Heavenly Sunlight by R.E. Winsett. <clears throat> there is the family that was likely, in my opinion, I mean, I don't know for sure, but probably traveling. This looks like it's probably from the 50s. Same, very small, great for collage, great for using his book page art. I just did some book page projects. They would be awesome for that. This is AD, The Revival Show. And again, it's got some really cool fonts. Great pages. Perfect. These kind of hymnals or, you know, like the revival ones where they travel are a little harder to find. This is really cool <clears throat> and a bargain. It's called Home Labor Saving Devices. It is letter AE. And this is from 1918. And yes, I'm just charging $5. But you can see, for those of you who love all of the diagrams and things like that, there's a lot in here. So there you have it. And that is called Home Labor Saving Devices by Rhea Clark Scott. That is A-E. And then finally, before I bring out the next uh, $5 items, this I really wanted to keep because I think it would be fabulous. And I'm trying to get up here in the, so you can see it. I thought it would be fabulous in, for Americana, for 4th of July, for a summer uh, journal. But it's called Life's American America's Parade, and it's got all of these wonderful illustrations of the celebration of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. There's, I know there's a glare. There's Betty Boop. 
Let me tell you when this is from. Willard Scott. He wrote the foreword. Come on now. Tell me when this is from. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see a date. <clears throat> but it's all the way through to 1977 and beyond. Just fantastic illustrations throughout the whole. There's Nikki. And the, tells about the history of the parade. How it was started. Um, look at the Elefantes. And they have a Christmas parade. And the most recent. Oh, there's Kermie about how they make them. It's just a really, really cool book. Um, but again, I was spring cleaning. Look at Kermie. I love Kermit. Yogi. And that looks like um, olive oil up there with a pink panther. That's cool. And Clifford. Spidey. See if it says in the back when it was. It doesn't say. That is just so corn feasting. But that is five dollars, and it is letter A F. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, all right. Let me get out another stack of five dollar starts. And let me see. I've got a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Okay. You ready for this? You ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I miss Jiggers. Jiggers is going to be the first one. Hang on. I've... My wingspan on my hands is not long enough. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. All right. $5 still. This is Jiggers. This is AG. And it is from 1963. Super cute if you love doggies. And if you love the Rand McNally Jr. Elf books. Oh my gosh, this is just too cute. This is the this page is a little ripped and had been put together. AG. Boys and Girls and Puppy Dogs is a Bonnie book. Also super cute. And someone wrote, I think, on every top of each page. But the images are so cute to fussy cut. The font is really nice, too. Uh, it's a super, super cute. Apparently, they were very disturbed that nobody put page numbers in their book. So, that is the Bonnie book, A-H. Uh, this one's one of my favorites. <clears throat> Happy Holidays and Other Fun Days Around the Year. Another Rand McNally Elf book. I mean, I can see this as a... As a journal, for sure. It's got the more brown um, colored pages, which makes it even more endearing, in my opinion. So, again, this is $5. Everything I'm showing you, look at that. That's cute. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Tim and Debbie. And there you have it. So, it's got all the ho holidays. Uh, AI is that number. Uh, always some of my favorites, the Better Homes and Gardens um, books in the series. So this is Lunches and Br Brunches, AJ. Uh, if you like to do cookbook journals, everyone should have some of these in their life. Ooh, look at that, Eggs Benny. It's one of my specialties, by the way, Eggs Benedict. Oh, look at the hen on nest. Eggs in exciting ways. And these are nice matte finish. Love them. Look at that. Wouldn't that be fun in a summer barbecue type of journal? So would that. The images you just can't beat. So there you have. Oh, look at that. Love it. Yeah, I never pass these up because I use them often. Um, but I have plenty. <clears throat> so it was time to share. Look at the jello molds. Can't go wrong with a jello mold. <laughs> And that's the inside. So that is AJ, Lunches and Brunches. This one's also a fave. AK, which is Homemade Cookies Cookbook. And, oh, I didn't tell you when that one was from. 
This is what I think is spectacular about this particular book, is that the front and the back in 1974, this was gifted. And um, the person that gave it had put their own recipes in addition to this. So the last book was from 1963, but it looks like they inscribed it in 1978. Um, but you can see they wrote in this one as well. I forgot to show you that. That's the best part of it. So I just love the hand handwriting in these. Now these are a little more shiny in nature, um, but who doesn't love a cookie? There's bars, snowman cookies. This one seems like it might be a little bit newer. And let's look at the back. It is full of cherry bars and lemon desserts, peanut clusters, pe pecan turtles. Hey, you might just want this just for the recipes. Chili Getty, cheesy meatballs, chicken rice casserole. Ooh, yeah, I like making that. This is from 1975. Gifted in 1976. So that is Homemade Cookies Cookbook. <clears throat> The last of the hardbacks of the $5 is this 1959 The Swede. Uh, it is a yearbook. I love these doorways. I just think they could be so cool. See, this was my thought monochrome. But I love it when they've got little um, wishes to Miss Alice Lynn in 1960. You can see that. <clears throat> Gothenburg, Nebraska. So there's writing across a lot of stuff. There's the lunch ladies. The cooks, it says. But it's just, it's so fun. And, you know, this is always a win. You've seen some of my yearbook projects. I have a playlist for those, so you can check those out if you're wondering, ah, should I get one or not? Yeah, you should. Everybody should have a yearbook in their life. Um, and I tried to just keep, like, I have one from each um, era. Like I have one from the thirties, the forties, the fifties, the sixties, the seventies, eighties, and nineties. Um, so that's how I, I choose to use them. Cause you know, depending on what kind of journal I'm doing, it might be an era that I need. That is a L the Swede yearbook. Um, but I love them. Now these are one of my favorites and I hemmed and hawed about these because I was like, oh, but I have a couple. So these are fabulous. These are 1964 Montgomery Ward Garden Catalogs. This is letter A-M. And I'll just give you a, <laughs> need I go any farther? But there's just beautiful images. I've, I have some of these and I have fussy cut, like I fussy cut a page almost like that. Then there's all the advertisements and the different, look at the strawberries. So each one is a little bit different. So I did these by year. So this one is letter AM 1964. And these are really nice size. They are 11 by eight and a quarter. And you know, even if you didn't want to cut these up, what a great collector's item. Or if you collect a gardening um, ephemera, <clears throat> You know, their monkey wards isn't any longer. So here's 1965. It's A-N, $5 again. Look at those roses. You just can't go wrong with these. And then well, there's more strawberries. Pears, apples. Ooh, look at this. What's this all about? Oh, it's like a little insert with a little label from Mr. Gilbert Herr. So that's a win. A little extra, extra. Wonderful. Fruits, vegetables, gardening tools, furniture. Look at that. And they're all very similar in nature. Uh, this is 1966. If you're a lover of roses, you can't go wrong. I could just see that as um, pockets and, oh, look at that as a belly band. Yeah, I see this is chroma collage, more of that, Let's see what it has on the back, Ooh, look at those, pretty, gorgeous, gorgeous, I mean, if I, I mean, these were hard to get rid of, I'd gobble them all up, but 
you know, I can't keep them all. 1959 Garden Book. So I love the color of this, kind of a turquoisey color. And that, oh, somebody cut something out of that one. They must have wanted, I don't know why, but they did. I thought maybe they had like the price or something. Oh, did they cut? No, that's not cut out. Raspberries. Look at that. Dahlias. Irises. I think, right? Yes. Asparagus. Sholan. There's just so much in here. Oh, tulips. One of my favorite. And there's that one. And then the last one is 1967. This is letter AQ. Shoot, I didn't tell you this one. AP, AO. Forgot to tell you those two. AQ. It seems like they, they knew. They are like, okay, start with the roses. It's not like the milk in the back of the grocery store. They, they put the stunner on the front. Instead of making people look through the entire magazine first. Look at those shrubs. Oh, that's pretty. So many opportunities for journals. And look at this. I don't know what they were cutting out. That or that. But there's that in there. All right. That is the last one. And AQ is that number. Okay. Okay. Now, let me put all of these back. Bear with me. Let's see if I can do this without dropping things. Well, we're moving on to, guess what? $10 items, and I got a lot of those, too. Um, let me move the $5, replace it with the $10, and put all this back in its spot. There we go. All right, first up on our $10 item. Oh, I forgot how many. This is AR. There's, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages of vintage letter. This is from 1916 for all of these. And this one, I think this might be a railroad led ledger. This one's a lot bigger. This is um, from 1963. Gardener, Faye Gardener, Secretary and Treasurer. There you go. You can see some of the pages. It's $10 for everything you see right there. Letter A-R. I'm try to put them back as I go. I have one of these left. <clears throat> this is big. Uh, it is $10. It is, this one is the 1946 Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, it is, of course, the cover and such is in rough shape. There's your Coke ad on the back. And as you can tell, I can't even fit it in the screen. So let me measure it for you. It is 12 and about a quarter uh, by nine and three quarters. And it is lovely. I'll just flip through a few pages for you. Turkey dinner. And... Recipes for winners. Look at that. Oh, look at this. I love me some kitchen ads, too. Gorgeous. So when was this? November 1946. So, of course, it's got some Christmas things in it. Thanksgiving and so on and so forth. There's the back. It is a little bit rat-a-tat-tatty at the back on the bottom. The whole book is kind of like that. You know, these probably were in someone's basement. Um... You know, they had a stack of them, and they just kept accumulating, and I saved it. <laughs> but there you go. That's $10, letter A-S. A-T is a sewing at home book. Uh, again, if you love to do journals with a sewing or home and garden type of theme, this is another staple you must have in your life. Uh, this is from 19... 74. Hello, 1974, clearly. 
So it's got great images. Uh, there's not a interior design book. Oh, look at this. You get some vintage directions and measurements. Look at that. These are just great books. Um, I love them. And look at that. Yep, 1974. So many things you can do with these. And if you've seen the um, video where I use oversized pages in um, my journals, this would be a great one to use. So that was AT. And then the other one, also hard for me to part with, but I did it, is called the Kitchen Craft Workshop. It is letter AU. Look at that little adorable baby. And I just think this is very unique. Um, it's a Buttrick publish, um, Publishing, and it was 1976, so we're still in the 70s. And it talks about equi equipment and uh, that you need for each project, uh, collar necklaces, pendants. It's got all the diagrams. It's just a cool book. And if for nothing else, the cover in itself is just gorgeous some color images of some of the projects dollhouse furniture and then pasta potpourri this would also be a great book if you've got littles and you want some fun things to do you got them right at your fingertips egg art having just had easter food additives and discards Ooh, this would be a great for give a scrap stuff or my kindergarten crafts. I guess if if we don't, uh, this doesn't go to a new home, I need to set this aside and try some of these for my kindergarten crafts for our journals. That would be fun. If you're not, uh, if you haven't checked out the playlist or aren't participating, by the way, in the Give a Scrap um, hop, check out the, uh, the playlist, Give a Scrap, and it will have everybody's uh, goodies in there. I don't know why that just came to my mind. Uh, all of their videos will be in there. And if you like and comment, then you have the opportunity to um, be put into the drawing to win a journal from me at the end of the 30 days. And the ladies and gentlemen are tagging other people. So there's others that will join in. These are full wallpaper books. And they are... Um, Full size eight by six and a quarter. If you were to take the spine out, if not, they are six and a half. Um, these are great. I love them, but I have enough. But they're already at a great size. So um, this is AX. Let me just put it up here and kind of go through it. There's ton this is not showing up very well. Tons of texture. There's like some grass cloth like that. There's some. These make great tags. Already cut for you. Ooh, look at that one. So lots of texture. Lots of beautiful images. Or, or images. Um, backgrounds. Uh, I do have an entire. That's AX. Uh, I do have an entire wallpaper playlist for ideas if you need some. I love playing with wallpaper. Um, this is again a Y. So see these are there's individuals. This also has texture. Oh there's some wood. Ooh look at that. It's a little sparkly and textured. Those are cool. Uh, AV is right here. Now, if you're wondering, um, this video clearly is going to run probably a little bit longer than most of my videos. That was AV and then AW. Um, but you can um, adjust your speed. 
and you do that, there's like a gear at the top of the video and click it and speed it up if you just want to see what the items are. Um, if you don't want to listen to me, <laughs> you can do that too. Uh, but that way you can see everything that's offered up. I'm giving you all kinds of tips here. AW is that one. And then what do we have next? Let me put those aside. I have more $10 items. Lots more. All right. I was so excited to kind of go through things and hold on. I need to, um, Okay, yes. So I'll make sure I'm in the right order here. And be able to bring these. And I thought, well, why not? Why not do this? <clears throat> it's my squirrel. I was supposed to be doing other things yesterday. I had a, I have a sick baby. My baby's sick. So I really couldn't get as much done that I wanted and what I was trying to do. So instead, I tore my whole house apart and started spring cleaning. This is AZ, The Story of Jesus. This is a cool book. Um, this was Jerry's book by Whitman in 1941. Look at those, how big those fonts are. And this is 10 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter. But it is the story of Jesus. It's a really cool book. Let's do the crunch test and see how our pages are. How they will hold up. They're a little crunchy. But they're not falling apart. So that's good. AZ is that one. This is also a really cool book. Um, this is heavy. It This is B.A. BA $10. It's called the Good Housekeeping Needlecraft Encyclopedia. This is what it looks like on the front underneath the um, dust jacket. It's in great shape. It even has a beautiful ex libris with florals on it. Uh, but if you love, uh, you know, sewing type of things, uh, embroidery, uh, anything like that, great in a journal. You could, this would be a cool altered book too. Um, great for a domestic arts journal, a sewing journal, a fashion journal. It's just chocked full and it's got lots of images. Um, look at that. That's cool. It's got all the sizing and dimensions. I'm trying to get, here we go. There's some color photos. Ooh, there's even some templates, patterns. Tatting, oh yeah, rat-a-tat tatting. So if you want to learn how to do any of these things and you want to, you know, rug making, you can learn right here as well. Love this. It's just a unique book and it even comes with a piece of yarn bookmark that was in it. Now, this is the last thing, is this the last $10 dollar ten dollar I no, it's not. I have more $10 items. This is letter BB. It's called the Circus Parade. And as I was going through my stuff, I happened to find this random circus crossword book. So I stuck it in there. Um, this is $10. This is, got a little bit of tear right there and wear. 1950. But it's all about the circus. So if you love the circus... This, my friends, is for you. And the cover, oh my gosh, it's glorious. I'll show it again. Very cute. Very beautiful illustrations. Taming the lions. Oh, he's wearing pants. How cute is that? And we got a giraffe. And then there's a game. And the back is just blank. But look at this. That's a hot pink on that blue with the elephant and the... Lady on top, so, so sweet. All right, $10 for a, a BB. All right, what do we got next? What do we got next? Um, oh, I've got this huge thing of, um, I transfer, this is just all sewing notions. There's elastic, there's a bunch of needles, there's a bunch of different random threads. You're probably saying, Angela, why would you get rid of that? You'll use it. Yes, I probably would. But I have a theory for me that if it doesn't fit in my newly organized little 
it's only notion area it's not staying so there you have it ten dollars letter bc you get everything that's totally worth it for all of those um spools of thread that are full they have never been opened and then uh lastly we have four items left this will be quick um i have only three but i have uh three better homes and gardens cookbooks uh this one is 1976 and you know how I love me some Better Homes and Gardens books. I use them all the time. You can um, watch my videos where I go over binder journals and learn all about them. That was BD, 1976. And then we have BE and BF, which are uh, both 1965. And I call them the nuts one because they have nuts at the top. And what's this? Little banana split cake, little extra. Um... Tabs are great to use. I love the images. Look at her. So these two are the same. Um, there you go. And if you've never done a binder journal, now is the time to get a bargain. And join me and play along because it's one of my favorites. My preferred method. There's BF. Very same thing. 1965. Well, that one keeps falling off. You know what? Okay, let's do that. And then the last $10 item that I have is, um, and you're going to want to pay attention to, hold on, because I have something else coming. Not hold on, but you may want this, because I have something else coming up later that I didn't even realize until um, I had put this all together. This is BG. I told you I went through uh, a lot of my... Um, I have files, which are bags, full of um, different themes. And this was sunflower. And so this is a piece of cloth. I don't know what that has to do with it, but it's in there. Um, so there's a book. There is a um, placemat. And I kind of had to make some decisions about... Am I going to, which ones am I going to get to? And the reason I was going to do a sunflower journal was because I thought it would be cool to do a, um, those are some daisies, which go very well with the, it's like an old calendar, reproduction. Um, a Kansas journal. These are all Mary Inglebright pieces that I had popped out all around gardening. There's a tea time. That's all in there. Another book about sunflowers, A Field of Sunflowers. That's a embossed sunflower with a little heart and a butterfly. So all of that, look at that. So if you're into sunflower journals and you need a few things, you got two books, you got a placemat, you got everything you need to start your journal and even a cover. So that's $10. And what letter did I say that was? I think it fell off. BG. There it is, BG. All right, $10 items. They're done. Uh, where would my $10 items start? Right here. Okay, $15 item. I have a big bundle. If you're a horse lover, hold on to your horses. Um, another of my very favorite, and I had to, I had to liquidate some of these. So we've got Blaze, and I think there's four books here. Blaze and the Spotted Gray Pony. Love the um, pencil sketch illustrations. They're just, they're beautiful. And this is Blaze and Your Spotted Pony is from 1968. So there's that book in there. There is a flip, which flip books are one of my favorites. Um, look at, see, how happy is that? Accelerated Reader. Oh, this is from 1941. Flip was born. And see, these pages have lots of blank space in them, which is really cool. That's the other reason. He's just kicking and flipping and having a good time. But look at all the blank space. They didn't put a lot of... Oh, the goat and the cat there. I don't know what they're doing. Well, now he has wings. But cute, cute book. And it just, it's a neat, it would be a cute cover. There is an old-fashioned ideals issue. 
Oh, and I forgot to put, this is 15. Maybe I didn't have my, maybe I didn't do a $15. How could I have forgotten? It's easier if I have the vi the visuals here for you because then you know. And I think maybe I only have one. This is the only $15 item. This might, might be why I, why I forgot. Now you still can't see that. There you go. Okay, ideals. This is from, it was from Target. Oh, look, there's some more horse stuff in here. 75, 1975. Oh, yeah, we got more horse stuff. We've got a vintage postcard. We've got another vintage. That's a cow, but that's okay. Happy birthday from Moo to you. It's Farmish. Mr. Farmer, this is your war emergency life. Oh, yeah, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, the Roundup from 1938. A KMA guide from 1963. What's in here? I don't know. And another little article. So, bonus for you. This is cool. Ooh, look at that cash register. The country store. The notion store. It's dolls. Just a little bit of farm and country right there. That's cute. Look at that. Pretty. So you get the ideals with that. And then lastly, you get a 1953 Capers or Cappers, maybe. Fa uh, farm Journal. And it was originally 15 cents. So this beautiful illustration. Look at the kids skiing on the bottom. Uh, January 1953. You got tractors. I know you probably can't see this. You got mechanics. This would be great if you were doing a masculine journal. Fireside Supper. That sounds fabulous, doesn't it? And you got the old barns. Oh, you got a house with um, all of the architecture and the layouts. This is a great, great magazine. June Comfort. There's a floor plan. Dresses. Absolutely worth it for this bundle. $15. And this is, let me turn it back over here. $15. What happened to my list? BH. I better put another little sticker. It must have fallen off. Probably on the floor somewhere. This is the only $15 item that I got. So let's just put it like BH. So I don't forget. Pop it in there. And now, $21. So, uh, if you were watching this, you probably know that I have been doing the Your Creative Studio Boxes. And this is why I said you might want to take note of that sunflower one if that's what you're into. These are $21, and they are letter B, I, and B, J. So, I'm going to start with the sunflowers and bees. These are the last two Your Creative Studio Boxes I have left. Um, if you've been watching our lives, you know I've had several, a lot actually. I think I had seven. I'm just gonna. So I left. I'll tell you the story. I left this in there. The, you know, make it the pretty thing. I don't know what this is. Retro creative material pack. It's just papers. So I got these at an estate sale. A pack of, and these are usually like stickers. Um, the gal had. Um, opened each box, opened the items that were in there and at least looked at them and then never used them. And so I ended up buying them all because I know that you guys will love them. I have um, done some unboxing from your creative studio in the past. Love their products. Here's some bees, the bees knees. Here's some sunflower sticky notes. These See, she did open them. Oh, these are labels. And I won't show you everything because that's kind of half the fun of it. 
This is a bee bookmark. So you got bees and sunflowers. Here's the card that comes with it. Ooh, look at this. Dazzling flowers. Those are pretty. Uh, some more papers. Written memory. Does it say what's in here? I think it does, but I can't read that. Can you? No. Anyway, there's that. And then we've got a cling stamp with the sunflower and the bees. Yeah, so she opened them up gently. And the, these bags, by the way, I've used to create stuff. Lovely. This one, did she even open it? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, this is bees as well. So you've got sunflowers and bees. Oh, there's three. You've got this one. You've got a honey pot and two honey pots. Cute. All right, so that's the first one, $21. It is letter B I. Sunflowers and Bees, your creative studio box. And then Tropical Pink Flamingo is B J. It is also $21. And, you know, every one that they send is a little bit different. So I'm going to leave this and open it. Oh, we got some runaway washi. All right, so there's a washi. Um, these are your papers. Let's see, I'll try to put it back in nicely. Um, what do we got in here? Oh, here's some flamingo paper. This is, oh, this, these are washi strips. And look at that, it's cut out. So there's, I can see there are stamps and strips of different flowers and such. We got some flamingo washi stickers. This is called masking tape. These are toucans stickers. And this was, we had already talked about that. We talked about the washi. We got labels. Uh, I often say that if, you know, it wouldn't be right if the traveling crafter didn't give you some traveling tips. There's the card that came with it. Ooh, those are cute. All these stamps. Yeah. This little box, a box like these are perfect to take on a trip. Oh, here's a toucan. This one doesn't look like it was ever opened, but I'm going to open it for you. And then the other one, oh, there's a pineapple and a toucan. There you go. After this, I have one last thing to share with you. And I will wrap it up. But just to recap, this is a, oh, more than one flamingo. What do we got? Oh, oh look. We got a, what are those called? Um, I want to say a flan, you know. Oh, gosh. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a leaf and a flamingo. So, $21 for the entire box. It is BJ. Just to reiterate, as I'm getting ready to show you the last item that will be up, uh, don't forget, if you see something that you like, make sure that you send me a... Uh, email if you've never did before. Make the comments in this um, in this video so that you can claim your item. Claim it by putting the letter combination, letter or letter combination, and what the item is. And the first person that does that wins. Okay. I thought it would be easier if I just kind of showed you a couple of these and then explained it. This is a pre-order. These are going to be $42. I sold out of all of my school days um, kits very quickly. And so I am doing a pre-order. Uh, but I want to make sure I have interest because it takes me a very long time to put these together. So uh, there are over 100 pieces. Well, actually a lot more than 100 pieces in these kits. Um, this and the other... Um, by the way, these are available on the Maker's Market if you're interested in a finished journal. But the reason I got those out is because much of the stuff that I showed you or that I 
included in my journals are things that are in those kits. So I wanted to give you some examples. But each kit has um, well over 100, a lot more than 100 pieces. And everyone comes with a reader. So what I did, and see, I started to put these together. These are um, placemats. Um, each one of them has a letter. So this is Open the Gate, which is BK. And this is how you can claim. If you want a kit that you want me to put a kit together, you can claim it by whichever book you want. Oh, here, I'll show you inside of this. So BK is this reader. Cute. So you could just put in BK and I will know. BL is down the river road. This is a lot of country, animals, fishing, cute little donkeys. Mr. Bones, barnyard, very, very cute. So there's that one. Again, that one is BL. BM is open the gate in green. Um, this one is 1959. Oh, look at how cute is that. Dog at the lake. Carousel. Oh, there's a mouse. Cute. I never met a reader I didn't like. I'm just going to say. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. And a pink cow. That cow was in fashion way before people started dyeing their pets. And then the last one, um, so I have enough to do four, four kits. And this is Many Surprises. It is BN. I'll go back through the dates again real quick. Uh, 1962, originally 49. And you just can't beat it. So if you don't know, every single time I find a book that I want, then I have to get rid of one. So that's how many of these are coming to fruition because um, I had to make choices. One comes in, one has to go out. So those are $42 um, and they were uh, <laughs> I forgot the There's, this is BM, this is BL, this is BK, and this last one was BN. All right, now let me just show you a couple examples. I thought this was easier since I haven't put all of them together, um, but you'll get the gist. I'll flip through this quickly, and while I do, I'm not going to really talk about it. I'm just going to flip through. Um all of them, I go through every single one of my vintage school-related books, and I take a page out of every single one of them. So these are things that you're seeing in there. There's a lot of stuff. And I know some of uh, the friends and the um, viewers, and like those, have purchased these, and they seem to really like them. So there's book page, there's old readers, there's workbooks, there's... Um, some a few newer things that are in there. Um, there's every single one of them comes with these. My name is, and I used them for front and back pockets. There's old vintage cards. Um, I don't remember if my this is a digital I have. It's on Kofi. These are really cool. They're lar there's large ones and small ones, but I think I had some that I popped in there. Just a few. A bingo card. things like this. Here's, this is like see-through, but all of these kinds of things are in there. Um, they're pretty, I mean, they're going to vary a little bit. There's some of these I think I have. Um, there's one of those pieces that I turned into a belly band. Um, there's these in there. Library card, or no, 
Dewey Decimal System card. Lots of cool stuff. Music. It's a little bit of ledger. Old reader pages. So you get some additional things in there too. Well, you get the whole book. <laughs> so pretty fun. And I do my best to make sure that you have everything you could possibly uh, need. And I have some... Um, a few little things that you can use here, a little bit of fabric as well. So you, you're getting a lot of fun things. I won't go through both of them because it's probably not necessary. But if you don't want to bother with making your own, you can hop over to the Maker's Market um, and grab one of those. And again, I'm going to share with you how this works. So um, today is April 6th. You have until April 11th, which is our live sale, to purchase the items that you wish to purchase. Um, on, I will be, and I will be traveling on that, um, April 11th sale on my birthday. So I will start invoicing probably not until Saturday because we'll be driving back, but, um, try to get everything that you want listed in here. So I know then that way, if you, um, if you decide that you want to purchase something on the 11th, you can combine all that for shipping. And if you find something on the maker's market, I will hold that until after the 11th sale. And you can stock up on vintage, new, and otherwise. Now, on the 11th, like I said, I will be traveling. And one of the reasons I did this is because I am doing what I did last time. And that is shopping while I'm remote. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So I wanted you to have some of these items as well, but I'm going to do it. I promise I'm going to do it for you. Uh, and so I would also share with you, uh, because we have time, well, a little bit of, yeah, we have time. Uh, if there's something that you want me to shop for or look for specifically just for you while I'm out uh, curating items for that April 11th birthday sale, then please type that in the comments and say, I'm looking for or ISO in search of. Um, and let me know and I'll, I'll be on the lookout for it. Uh, so when you decide that you have um, put your letters in and the items in, please don't forget, send me an email with the title Shop Till You Drop to my email address, Restoration Harmony, the number one at gmail.com, and includes your YouTube name, your first and last name, your shipping address, and the email in which you want your invoice sent to, whether that be um, PayPal or otherwise. Uh, I think that is it, friends. Oh, I had one more $15 item. I did not. Okay, we're going to call this BL. I do have, let me zoom out. I forgot about this. This is all vintage buttons. It is $15. It's a quart jar, I believe. It's it's big. 600 fluid ounces. Is that 600 fluid ounces? Full of vintage. I'm trying to read it. I can't. Three cups? Four cups? I don't know. Anyway, it's all vintage. I promise you that. So, if you're interested in that, this is BL, $15. I will put a sticker on it right now and write it down afterwards. How could I have forgotten that? Because it was sitting there next to all my other stuff. That is BL, $15. And you get the pretty little purple flower and some ribbon on there, too. BL for the... Heavy and large jar of buttons. Okay, that, my friends, is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me hear what you think and uh, get your get your bids in uh, quick and you will probably get to take that home with you. So, as always, thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you on April 11th at our live sale with our special guest, Hazel at Hazel and Naka Designs. And until then, remember to take time to just be. We'll see you soon. Cheers.